El 12 de febrero, la rivalidad de combate más épica de Oceanía inicia su segundo capítulo. While the biggest fight in Australian slash New Zealand mixed martial arts history awaits us. You want to talk about the magnitude of this fight? Biggest way in we've ever had by far. When the stars all align, I will turn these hands of time. El mejor peleador de Nueva Zelanda de todos los tiempos es el actual campeón de peso mediano de la UFC Israel Adesanya. He has taken this sport by storm. He moves every needle, celebrity and otherwise that you would want him to move. Israel Adesanya has that thing that draws people to them, that makes friends all gather to watch you perform. He's a great fighter and he always brings it. Quien en 2019 entró a territorio enemigo a arrebatarle el cinturón a un ícono australiano. That was a beautiful knockout. Give him the Bobby Knuckles. Man, just a fantastic performance by Adesanya. But the story is not over. La angustiosa actuación en su tierra natal frente a casi 60 mil fanáticos es la única derrota del ex campeón Robert Whittaker en los últimos siete años. Didn't get the W today, but I'm not going anywhere. Chapter one goes to Israel Adesanya, and perhaps these two gentlemen are destined to fight again. Y el otro era rey indiscutido está listo para recuperar su trono. Embrace the darkness. Build on that first fight. Rejuvenated, revitalized. Oh. And came back much better. Cannoneer in a world of trouble, he retreats. Oh my goodness. Oh, you're gonna finish this fight. And I'm excited to get back at him. You see the fire that burns, the longing that he has to become the champion of the world once again. It's the fight. It has to happen. I found a match and I'm ready to light up. And here we are again. The most important rematch. Bobby Knuckles, my arch nemesis. Antes de que los mejores pesos medianos del mundo cierren la noche, en la coestelar habrá un choque de peso completo. Two big alpha males in that octagon. Cuando la estrella en ascenso australiana Taito Ibasa lleve el impulso de cuatro knockouts consecutivos. A una pelea de alto riesgo con el rey del local. El dos veces retador al título. Y dueño de la mayor cantidad de knockouts en la historia de la UFC. The Black Beast, Derrick Lewis. Todo sucederá en H-Town cuando el líder mundial regrese con otro imperdible pago por evento. Pero primero, prepárense relax, relax. That's it. para el UFC 271. Countdown. Ready to rise. Nueva Gales del Sur es hogar de dos peleadores que han capturado el oro de la UFC. El actual campeón de peso pluma, Alexander Volkanovski. Oh, huge ground strikes from Volkanovski. Unbelievable. This could be the end. Everyone back home in Australia. I did this for you. Y el ex rey de peso mediano, Robert Whittaker. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the former UFC middleweight champion will be with you guys very shortly. Pero fue este último quien lideró la carga desde Australia. Hey, boss, are you good? Y The Reaper es amado por su gente. We're down here for a little meet and greet, launching some new uh, exclusive shirts. Alright, pull it pretty tight. I love it, honestly. He's probably one of the best Australian athletes. Thank you for your support, brother. Everything Australia is, he's a fighter, like, he's never out of a fight. Thank, Thank you. So Pleasure's all mine. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming down. To be able to get down here and see my fans and feed off that energy a little bit, it's mind blowing to see that I've created this sort of atmosphere and culture. El camino pionero de Whitaker comenzó cuando ganó el Ultimate Fighter para el equipo de Australia. He is the last hope for Team Australia. Robert Whitaker. Oh, and that Whitaker shot for 
Y desde entonces ha estado agradeciéndolo. Desde apariciones. Hasta un gimnasio que da la bienvenida a todos. A lot of love and care has gone into the construction of this gym. Everyone got involved to get this up to what it is today, a five-star gym. I'm glad we can give that to our current members and I'm glad we can offer that to new ones. It's not my right to train in a facility like this, surrounded by good people like you. It is my privilege to train in a facility like this and to train with people like you. And thank you from the bottom of my heart and so I'll try to live up to that. And I hope we all try to live up to that. We're spreading our morals and values around. As a martial artist, that's kind of what you want to achieve. And a lot of people think if an Australian is going to break through and win a UFC title, it could very well be this man, Robert Whittaker. Oh, he goes down with a knee. He's coming through. He goes down with a knee. That is it. Robert Whittaker. Oh, two early knockdowns for Whittaker. Oh, oh tomorrow. my God. Is Robert Whittaker. El apoyo de Down Under. Impulsó el legendario ímpetu de Whittaker. Oh, Robert Whittaker with a head kick. On the coast from Whittaker. Down goes Brunson. Robert Whittaker. We're looking at a guy who is on the rise. He's making his run towards greatness. Oh, massive head kick for Whittaker. Oh, Sosa's in trouble here. And that is it. Wow. The storm breaks out tonight. Mientras ponía alma y corazón en cada batalla. Tonight, at just 26 years old, he'll try to complete the mission and become a UFC champion. Oh, he caught him with that left. Man, beautiful left hand. Oh, he rocked him. Oh, big left for Romero. Oh. Beautiful knee. This really is who wants it most. These guys are beat down. Robert! Cinco kilos del oro interino de la UFC. Oh, head kick from Whitaker. Oh! oh! That's a fight for Romero. Oh! Head kick for Whitaker now. Both of these fighters refusing to go down. Se convertirían en el título indiscutible de peso mediano. Australia has a UFC champion. His name is Robert Whitaker. Que permanecería con Whitaker en casa en Australia. Hasta que del otro lado de la zanja emergió su mayor rival. Un kickboxer convertido en fenómeno invicto de las artes marciales mixtas, llamado Israel Adesanya. So here is Israel Adesanya, 28 years old. He arrives at the UFC debut here tonight. The last foul bender. He believes he can do anything. Quien ilustraba el espíritu de combate de su nación. It's pretty rare you see a guy make his UFC debut with this kind of hype. Right. A lot of eyes on him. Fighting is part of New Zealand's culture. Sometimes that pressure can be a detriment. I don't think so with this guy. Growing up with my friends out here, it's always just been a part of the culture, that bravado, one ounce type thing. You know, there's ways to hone that and use it for the greater good, which is this, I feel. And for me, it's about the feeling. That's what I care about, the feeling I give people when I fight. This is a fantastic young fighter with confidence to match. He is one of the highest level kickboxers you're ever going to see. He has been the boss. He has been the bully. He has led the dance. Oh. He almost fights like he's in a karate movie sometimes. People talk about the never-ending debate between Michael Jordan and LeBron James. And the last style men are starting to go to work. Those who were around when Jordan was playing, they're like, yeah, this is nice, but you don't remember the feeling of watching him do what he did. Oh, we tagged him again. So I want to give people a certain feeling when I fight. Wow. Whether they love me or hate me. That's the last style bender, folks. Because I come in there showing off dancing. Ooh. That kid's the truth. And Adesanya touched over with the right hand. I mean, he's just so effortless and fluid. I want them to remember that feeling. Oh, that's the thing about his arsenal. It's so deep. He can do so many things. His striking IQ is off the charts. The last style bender polarizó el público. Oh. En su camino a obtener el título interino de peso mediano de la UFC. Well, it is the biggest fight in the history of Australia and New Zealand. The undisputed middleweight championship is at stake. It'll be Adesanya and Whitaker later in 2019.
pero la pelea por el campeonato que vino inmediatamente. 56, provocaría la ansiedad, tanto de australianos. Como de Kiwis. Robert, he does not want to let everyone down. <laughs> Looking good, man. He's in his home country. He doesn't want to let everyone down. I had a better idea. Yeah. I had a bigger incentive. I'll find the I shot and I'll put him away. That night was just perfect. It is amazing how beloved Robert Whitaker is in this nation as he tries to find his way into striking range. Going into enemy territory, staking my claim. He's got Rob chasing him. Oh! shot by Izzy right before the bell. Owning the moment, just expressing beautiful violent art. Oh, heard him again with that hook. Oh, beautiful body work now from Adesanya. He's starting to feel himself now. He's starting to get to his flow. Then it's not good for Robert Whitaker. Oh, Israel Adesanya is the undisputed king of the middleweights. Everyone that was supporting me could walk out of there with their head held high. Like, yeah, our guy won. Less than two years into his UFC career, Israel Adesanya is what he knew and thought he was, the best middleweight on planet Earth. That feeling's gonna sit with them forever. And perhaps these two gentlemen are destined to fight again, but chapter one goes to the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Australia, this is UFC 243, Whitaker versus Adesanya. Seems to be a feeling here that these guys might fight more than once, but act one between Robert Whitaker and Israel Adesanya is finally upon us. La victoria del campeón de peso mediano de la UFC, Israel Adesanya contra Robert Whitaker en 2019. Solidificó su lugar en la cima. I'm Hollywood now. I'm Hollywood. Y mientras de las style vendors disfrutaba de su nuevo estrellato, buscaría a los retadores con más probabilidades de arrebatárselo todo. This guy right here is a guy that no one ever calls out. I want to test myself against everyone of this era who's a beast. Oh, yo, oh, Romero! That is an aggressive, powerful man. Scariest dude on this UFC roster. I just pick and choose pretty much. I've always kind of done that low key. And I don't pick easy fights. I pick the toughest guy in the division at the time, and I go after them. Tras dominar a Joel Romero. I do what I have to do in a fight. I touch them up, and still. Brazil's got a middleweight contender, Paulo Costa. Leave me la Costa. I'll see you soon, boy. Y a Paulo Costa. This is not oh! looking good for Paulo Costa. He's getting picked apart here. Oh! oh! Knocked down for Adesanya! Wow! That Adesanya había despejado el paisaje del peso mediano. He has left Anderson Silva, Kelvin Gastelum, Robert Whitaker, Yoel Romero, and now Paulo Costa in his way. Así que extender una racha invicta en las 185 libras significaba enfrentar a la élite de la división por segunda vez. Is the warm up? This is it. It's 
so hard to get motivated for me. Israel Adesanya, man. What's there to say? The guy is legit as you can get. I, I love what I do. He's one of the best that stepped foot in the octagon, and he always wants to take on the biggest challenges. I love this game. I love where I'm at in my career. But to lap the division. He is putting himself in some pretty elite company with what he is doing. I find that exciting. So here he is, folks. Israel Adesanya he is still undefeated as a middleweight, and he intends to keep it that way tonight in what is the first rematch of his career. On the other side, it's Marvin Vittori, the latter, trying to become the first Italian UFC champion. I have a healthy ego. The last style vendor in search of a third successful middleweight title defense. I like to use it to my advantage like a fire. Use it to make life. What we're seeing here is that Izzy evolved considerably since their first fight. And he's also so much more comfortable. I mean, he's the champ now. Oh, that one hurt him. That one hurt him. Make the move, turn the doubt him up. Get him torn, peace and tools if you're down with us. Shake the room, let the sound erupt. Make it boom till they feel it in the atmosphere. But then if I'd fan it the wrong way, it could burn my whole down, so. All the stuff that Izzy's been doing is starting to pile on, and Marvin is fatiguing. That can go two ways, but right now, the way it's going, it's in my favor. This fight was all Israel Adesanya. It shows true dominance. Israel Adesanya once again dominated Marvin Vittori. Who wants to get this next ass kicking? Because he's cleared out his division. That he lapped the division at the top and then did it again. And the path to UFC middleweight Golden Glory still goes through Auckland, New Zealand. That motivates me, so if my next three fights are rematches, doesn't bother me. We have seen him develop exponentially from one fight to the next. Now, his mixed martial arts moment. He has taken this sport by storm. He moves every needle, celebrity and otherwise, that you would want him to move he figures to be facing his stiffest challenge to date. De hecho, la próxima pelea de Adesanya será otra revancha con el hombre de quien obtuvo el cinturón hace dos años. Y la emoción de su victoria era emparejada por la agonía de la derrota de Robert Whittaker. The overwhelming memory that I have for that first Adesanya fight is just that I want to rip his head off. The best middleweight in the world looking to pick up precisely where he left off tonight. It was very emotional. Adesanya has forced some misses out of Whitaker here early on. The pressure, the hype, the build up, the fans, the, the place. Throwing big old looping punches, not being as straight as he normally is. It all kind of got to me. He's got to be very careful. I took a step away from the game, not really with the intention of coming back. It's kind of just freeing myself from all that. Help me, Jack! Yeah! And family was kind of how I knew that I still wanted to be in there, I still wanted to fight. This is how I wanted to make my living still. Where? Oh. <laughs> They're my driving force behind stuff. They put things in perspective and make you want to achieve something not for yourself, but for them. Antes de enfrentarse a Desania, Whitaker nunca había perdido una pelea en las 185 libras. Y la autorreflexión que siguió a esa inusual experiencia destacó la necesidad de Whitaker de siempre evolucionar. Position, position, position. That loss is easy was good in a way because I was having such success with my striking and I was winning fights via striking that I didn't need to fix it. Nice work. So I made a lot of changes with my training and the way I do things. Implemented more complete skill sets of what I already had. Mixing in wrestling, mixing in my striking with a, a better defensive game. And you could just see a massive improvement. Oh! He dropped him. Here he is, rejuvenated, revitalized, and on a quest to get his title back. Whitaker really did relight that fire. 
Tras su primera derrota en media década, Whitaker regresó candente. Mostrándole a sus contendientes que sigue estando por encima del resto. I thought Cannonier was going to be a much tougher challenge for him. He looked good tonight. He looks sensational. And I wonder what the champ is thinking right now. I'm at a loss for words for Whitaker's performance. What a masterclass. We're going to see a rematch of Whitaker versus Adesanya. Any type of confusion in the middleweight division, it's done. This is the man that gets the next title shot. Nobody's jumping over Whitaker. He's next. revancha entre el rey de peso mediano Israel Adesanya y el ex campeón Robert Whittaker es oficial. Y aunque la pelea más esperada en la historia de Oceanía tendrá lugar en Houston, Texas, las historias de quienes encabezan la cartelera del UFC 271 realzan las grandes naciones que representan. De la inmensidad de Australia a las islas de Nueva Zelanda. Estos destinos son famosos por estar entre los lugares más bellos del planeta. We are in Dunedin, South Island of New Zealand. I don't visit the South Island as often as I like to. It's a chill pace compared to the hustle and bustle of Auckland and then the scenery as well. After this fight, I'm definitely going to explore the South Island a little bit more. Este día, la ciudad portuaria de Dunedin acoge a los Kiwis prometedores y el héroe nacional siempre tiene tiempo para apoyar a la próxima generación. Dear Lord, thank you for giving us this wonderful opportunity for the team to show off their talent tonight, Lord. We just ask that you protect all the fighters and protect all the boys tonight. We ask that you give them strength. We ask that you give the corner wisdom. Everything that we do tonight is in your name, Lord. Thank you, amen. Amen. Cool. Yeah, baby, baby. We're off. We need events like this to cultivate the youth. So it's important to show up for them as well because this is their biggest fight of their life. Nice, Jason. Do that again. I just want to show those guys that they matter. You adapted in that third round and you showed the heart. Nah, good. Be proud. Be proud. Go say thanks to the corner. It means a lot when guys like myself take time out to go support them and help them out. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, bring it out, bring it out. That's a good fight to come on. Let's go, ah, oh, let's go. They're always here to help us get ready for world title fights. So same thing, when we come here, we help them for their fights. Do what you do. That's it, good counter. Feints, more feints, bring it back. Oh! oh my God! Not much to tell you, brother. Thank you. That was a match little round on your feet. Yes, focus, focus. Be sharp. Oh! That's it, Adam. He's been waiting for you. Let's go, Adam. What an awesome night for our team. We came in and we conquered. You are amazing. You are amazing. I love you. You're a man. I'm even getting chills thinking about it. I'm inspired. That was beautiful. That right there, masterclass. Masterclass. Let's go. We're the best. That's it. That's it. Say less. El orgullo nacional es tan profundo en Nueva Zelanda como al otro lado de la zanja, donde el próximo oponente de Adesanya también está apoyando a los atletas locales. Let's go, light. Family light, 30 seconds light. Para Robert Whittaker, eso significa dar la bienvenida al gimnasio de su casa a los Benrith Panthers de la Liga Nacional de Rugby. Donde los ganadores de la Premiership de la Liga siguen un régimen de lucha que ha mejorado sus actuaciones en el terreno. Impact of wrestling in NRL is massive. Now for Luai, back, Burden 
runs into a hole and he's into the in goal area for a try. It affects slowing the play of the ball down, completing tackles. The challenges are there, thick and fast. The Panthers celebrate the Premiers of 21. Every team has a wrestling coach. Go! Ours is just the best. We're always looking to improve. Just kind of exposing our team and our guys to something a little bit different and fresh. You get some strength out of it, some conditioning, which is very relevant to our sport. To be involved with such an elite level team of like-minded individuals makes a big difference in the gym. Los Panthers entrenan junto al Reaper mientras se prepara para enfrentar a Australia en la revancha del 12 de febrero contra Israel Adesanya de Nueva Zelanda. Now that it's almost time to fight, we could put this whole Australia versus New Zealand thing to bed. It was never a country about a versus country, like it, it was me versus Izzy. Aunque la histórica rivalidad entre naciones no distraerá a Whitaker de su tarea. The Australian-New Zealand rivalry. That was one of the things that got in my head the first fight, honestly. They made such a big thing out of it. And we've got two guys from this side of the world. The rivalry between Aussies and Kiwis, it's not going to end here. I'll guarantee you that. You live in Australia and you've got Kiwi heritage. Yeah. He lives in New Zealand. He's got Nigerian heritage. Mm. That was all that kind of fit into everything. 56,000 plus will pack the house Sunday at UFC 243. Robert, he does not want to let everyone down. He's in his home country. He doesn't want to let everyone down. <laughs> nice. Now I don't care. Personally, I just want to try and get that back. Beautiful. All I know is that I'm very confident going into this next fight that I'm going in there as the best me. Right here. Going in there with my head the way I, I need it to be, that I want it to be. I'm going in there with my skill set and my confidence in my skill set. I'm going to give my best go at this, and that will satisfy me. And again. Good trainer, Rob. Nice work. El ex campeón Robert Whittaker tiene marca de 12-1 en sus últimas 13 peleas, pero que esa única mancha sea de la pelea por el título de 2019 con Israel Adesanya. Es una que ahora tiene la oportunidad de compensar. En su preparación para la revancha del 12 de febrero, Whitaker se enfoca en la dulce ciencia. Con una leyenda del negocio. El seis veces campeón mundial como entrenador y miembro del Salón de la Fama del Boxeo, Johnny Lewis. And we could have a real cracker. Long-time trainer Johnny Lewis there with him. He's worked all his life for this moment. And there's the left uppercut, which was a peach. Combinations, and there's the left hand. It's over! The fight finishes dramatically. Well, let's go. That's handling. Put. Johnny Lewis knows what he's doing. You know, he's got a good head for the sport. And he's got a big personality and presence in the gym. You know, go in with it, and then, then hook short. Oh, yep. Nice. When he's watching you or when he's edging you on to work harder, work faster, you want to do that for him. Right, that's right. right. Then go to the left first and then do the left rip. Follow up to the right. End of the rip, shorten it up. Nice and twist. He just has that veteran mind, that experience behind the wheel that you just absolutely believe in. El boxeo puede haber sido en lo que Adesanya superó a Whitaker. Oh, pero las tres victorias consecutivas de Whitaker que siguieron mostraron las recientemente refinadas habilidades de golpeo de The Reaper. Rob is punching extremely hard and he's not missing the target. There's a lot of power in these punches. It is an absolute weapon. If he gets two of them in a row, we'll be all going home early. Here he is, rejuvenated, revitalized, and on a quest to get his title back. There he is. Oh, man. I'm trying to be like a better version of myself. This Whitaker performance might be resonating with the middleweight champion, Israel Adesanya. And then, and then drop the ride on him. I mean, he's gotten better, right? 
and I feel like I've ticked a lot of those boxes. This Robert Whitaker looks so much better than the guy that fought Izzy for the title. I mean, Robert is just one step ahead oh. in every single transition. But this next fight will be the biggest box to tick. That was truly a masterpiece, and I can't wait for the rematch with Adesanya. Nice time. El equipo de Sanya es muy consciente de que el enfoque de Whitaker para la revancha será muy diferente al del primer combate. Pero alteraciones drásticas al campamento de entrenamiento pueden traer efectos adversos. It's always very interesting to see what the other opponent's going to do to change the outcome. When you lose in the fashion that Robert lost. A lot of big actions by Robert Whitaker, throwing big old looping punches. From a coaching perspective, there's so much scope for change. Anytime you get a great trainer like Johnny Lewis, it's going to add to your game. But I will say this, there is 100% a danger when fighters start to get too much input from too many different places. Adesanya se prepara como de costumbre, sabiendo que incluso si el campamento de entrenamiento de Whitaker está repleto, la fortaleza mental del ex campeón no tiene cuestionamiento. The way he's approached the fight lets me know he's taking the first step in accepting that I was better than him that night. It's that right hook counter every time Robert jumps in there. That right hook counter is landed beautifully. Sí, sí. He's going to come in with a different game plan, different strategies. One, two, minus. And I'm preparing him better than I did the first time. And that speaks to the evolution of the all-around game of Adesanya. It's Australia versus Nueva Zelanda una vez más el 12 de febrero. Cuando Whitaker. He's made adjustments to get the title and face Adesanya next. I'm excited. Y Adesanya. One of the most dynamic, layered strikers, and of course, a game that has continued to round itself into form. Se reencuentren en la cima de sus carreras por la gloria indiscutible del peso mediano. Me and him are not the same. We're not on the same level. I've knocked him out twice in one fight. The way he understands timing and distance is unparalleled. So I'm going to finish him again. He makes it look easy no matter what he is doing. He's the most sophisticated striker in the sport. Oh! But this Robert Whitaker looks so much better than the guy that fought Izzy for the title. Izzy's going to be a hard fight. Oh, oh my goodness. He's the champ for real. He does things that other people just don't do inside the octagon. You never know where he's going. I think I have the skill set to beat him. Look at that. I mean, come on. These in and out actions, these angles, this is what made Robert Whitaker so special. I'm stacking every chip in my favor. I mean, he's gotten better. He went away and he actually got better. We'll see who's not it is when we get there. This is the fight to make. Let them have this great battle that they had once before. El evento coestelar del UFC 271 será una exhibición de peso completo entre noqueadores comprobados. Para Taito Ibasa, 12 de las 13 victorias de su carrera han sido por knockout y el orgulloso australiano se ha llevado el campamento de entrenamiento a los Emiratos Árabes Unidos. All right, let's go, guys. Let's get the job going. Coming over here, it's been awesome. Back to normal. I've done uh, four camps here now. Pick it up a little bit, look over, right the way around. Let's go, right shoulder. Mainly was because of COVID in Australia. And again, let's go, get them up. Three, two. One, two, my shadow, let's go please, start your shadow. I just thought, you know, I need to get out of here to make sure that I can keep fighting and keep feeding my family. Time. All right, two minutes, do your stretches please, make sure you stretch. De los australianos que son parte del campamento de Tuibasa, el amigo de la infancia y entrenador Sean Sullivan es quien mejor conoce a Bam Bam. We're all in the y ha guiado su carrera desde que Tuibasa era un recién llegado a las artes marciales mixtas. Any questions? Okay, nice and warm, let's go. 
how I used to train to basically lose weight. And then when the fight came, that was like his fun part. Nice, beautiful, beautiful. That's what I want to see. You know, you see as he walks out, he really enjoys it. He embraces the opportunity to perform under those bright lights. Here is the undefeated Luego de solo seis victorias profesionales, Tuivasa se encontró compitiendo en la UFC. I just want to fuck you getting paid, baby. Hates to train, loves to eat, but make no mistake about it. He is a big game player. Tui Boss with an elbow over the top. Boss is in trouble. Can you do the honors and lend me your shoe? Oh, I'm not lending you my shoe. You're going to have to do that with somebody else, bro. He drinks beer out of shoes, folks. Pero con su prominente personalidad, Tuibasa aprendió, como la mayoría, que el escenario más grande de las artes marciales requiere un nivel diferente de dedicación. While you're getting warmed up, I'll tell you what you're doing today. The strength stuff you're going to do will do the zercher squats and uh, banded landmine press, and you've got the sledge push at the end. Sean didn't tell me to tell you that, but you got it today, so that's at the end. <laughs> Initially, even when he first started in the UFC, I think Ty was just naturally a fighter. Drive it forward. Good. He used to love the fight aspect of the sport, but the training aspect he didn't really enjoy at all. Just snap the hips a little bit more, yeah. Good, Vesta. When you lose, you learn, and you start to have a real good hard look at yourself, and you know he realised that he needed to change a few things. Last one. Up. Nice now he's really like buying into the training side of things and he's looking to try and upskill himself in all areas of the game. Yeah, I'm godly. Oh, I'm die for the grind, hey. He's now starting to embrace the martial arts side of MMA. I can't lie, man, it's time. His fight IQ is getting, you know, extremely bright. I think that's showing in his performances. Tras una serie de derrotas, Tuivasa encontraría el equilibrio entre diversión y profesionalismo. Oh, big shots landed for Tuivasa. Así que los knockouts continuaron. Tuivasa has the gun. Bam, bam is back in a big way. And I'm a doubt. Tuivasa wobbles in the center. 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 It's over. First round knockout. Find him a shoe. Get him a shoe. Who has more fun than Ty Tuivasa? Nobody. Put a sign till he found me. Oh! Pero para extender su racha a cinco triunfos por nocaut, <laughs> Tuibasa deberá derrotar al rey del nocaut en el UFC 271. Knockout power unlike any other heavyweight in the UFC. When he connects, he puts you out. Oh, big shots by Derek. That's it. And the guy has hammered. Knockouts de los destacados en video abundan en el peso completo. Derek Lewis, get another finish. He's done it time and time again. Pero Derek Lewis de Houston propinó lo suficientes como para empatar el récord de más knockouts en cualquier división. Tuvo la oportunidad de romper ese récord en su pelea más reciente. Derek Lewis can own the UFC knockout record if he gets it done by that method against Chris Dawkins. The fight played out exactly like my coach wanted. That's it. Keep control of the cage. There it is, baby. We wanted to push him against the cage and just blast on him. Oh, and the left combination. Lewis is punching big now. Yeah, exactly what we did. Cool to have 
have the most knockouts in UFC history. All these greats that came here before me, and they didn't achieve what I did. Aunque dueño del récord de más knockouts, Luis aún no tiene un título mundial de la UFC. Thanks, man. Tear it up out there. I know you will. Y si su segunda oportunidad por un cinturón de peso pesado contra el ex retador Cyril Gann no hubiera sido en su ciudad, Luis bien podría ser hoy el campeón. How perfect is this situation, right? I mean, you get a chance to fight for the title. It's it's in Houston. I mean, could you have drawn it up any more perfect than this? Um, it don't feel real that I'm fighting for the belt here in my hometown. At this point in your career, does it mean more? I mean, is this a special moment to, to have a belt? Um, I don't know. Still really not even thinking about that. My mind is still not really on the title. When we took the fight, we were so excited, you know, fighting for the interim title here at home. Yeah, we're going to do this. And as time progressed, especially going into fight week, I definitely saw a side of Derek that I honestly hadn't seen before. I don't want to fight in my hometown, especially the main event again in my hometown. Uh, I thought it would be cool, but nah, it's a lot of pressure. How's the week been treating you, Derek? Um, the week has been crazy. Yeah, it's nerve-wracking, man. It makes me nervous just thinking about it. He said with all this, the pomp and circumstances, the ovation of the crowd, there comes an added pressure, and he had been feeling it all week. I was battling my mind more than I was battling God. It only takes one for Derek Lewis to blow the roof off his place. There's something he's seeing from God that's throwing him off. The nerves and everything that that fight meant. Fight for Chilo God on the cusp of a world title, and that is it. Derek Lewis just unable to get things going tonight. It just took a toll on me. I think Derek being able to fight so quickly again here back home is, is just a, a great opportunity. He's going to really want to give the fans a better showing, a better outing, and hopefully get the W here against Ty. Tras recuperarse con un triunfo por knockout como los de antes, Luis tiene esta oportunidad de redención en su tierra natal, en el evento coestelar del UFC 271 contra Ty Tuivasa. Coming into this fight, I feel like I owe Houston a lot, and I feel like it's my redemption fight for them. The two of us, you go out there and just like to swing, and that's what I like to do too. It's gonna be a fun fight, and I believe I can get the job done for the fans. De vuelta en los Emiratos Árabes Unidos, Tuibasa continúa el campamento de entrenamiento a medio mundo de distancia de su gente en Australia. Y aunque los destinos con menos restricciones son necesarios para una adecuada preparación, el tiempo lejos de la familia nunca es fácil. Get out of it and make it work. So I've got a good group of people around me. Always learning and getting, trying to get better. You coming to eat, Christian? Por suerte para tu ibasa, pudo traer a alguien de la familia con él, tal como su cuñado y peso semi completo de la UFC, Tyson Pedro. He's one of the few people that, even since we were a kid, is just able to find his target. Like, a lot of people can punch as hard as Ty, but he's just able to find the chin and put people to sleep. All right, guys, let's go. Take it easy. Get a Get a First technique, guys. <laughs> Someone goes to shoot on you. You want to one of these? One of these. He's really ramped it up now. He's looking very good. He's wrestled very strong. Jump, jumping over. I had my first fight. I, I never did any martial arts. So 
getting used to the wrestling and the ground game, and trying to better myself. He always loves having me over because of my jiu-jitsu background, so. <laughs> that, that helps him out a lot as well. Not that I think it'll matter in the Derek Lewis fight. <laughs> Preparándose en todas las áreas para una pelea que bien podría involucrar solo golpeo. Es un testimonio de la dedicación de tu Ibasa. Y un oponente como Derrick Lewis sacará a relucir el mejor Bam Bam hasta la fecha. I just think it's the passing of the torch now. Hand it over to me. Oh, the Australian tied to Ivasa, one of the hardest hitters in the game, one of the biggest personalities in the game. He knows when he steps foot on that octagon, he's trying to do one thing, he's just beat the living crap out of his opponent. Oh! It's going to be two guys in there trying to take the head off of one another. When he lets those hands go, he has a very high likelihood of knocking you up. And so it's going to be a, a fun fight to watch. That's it. That's it. There is your knockout kick. I'm Bam Bam. I always come out to knock someone out, you know, so. Oh! And knock out a Shoeys. Shoeys coming to Houston, baby. Los pesos completos chocan en Houston, Texas, el 12 de febrero. Antes de que el ex campeón de peso mediano Robert Whittaker like right represente a Australia en una revancha contra el monarca reinante de Nueva Zelanda, Israel Adesanya. I'm the champion. Let's go. Es otra exhibición de alto riesgo para el líder mundial de las artes marciales mixtas. En el UFC 271.